This is going to be a really, really cool tutorial because what we're going to look at is how to create what you'd call a tool. You know, like as a, as a programmer, sometimes we're making something that's got an end result, you know, like you just give it to someone and be like, oh, here's this thing I've created. Uh, they can use it. But then if you're creating something that they can use to create more stuff, they can come back to you and say like, oh, look at this thing I made with this tool that you created. So yeah, uh, paint, painting in particular is a really good thing to be getting into. It's been going on for tens of thousands of years, maybe even, maybe even longer. Um, the, the question we got to ask ourselves is why are we going to use computers to do it? In particular, why are we going to do it in augmented reality? What are we going to benefit from that? And we're probably going to get all kinds of ideas as we start working with it. Um, to be honest, to be honest, um, I, I've, I've done a, a bit of fiddling around, a bit of proof of concept, but I'd really like to, to upload videos, you know, one at a time and get feedback. People say like, oh man, I had this idea of something you could do. Can we see how to create that? Um, uh, like there's so many different options for what we could do with painting and augmented reality. Two different, oh, I'm going to start writing this down as well. So we're talking about painting. And I want to talk about two different methods we can use, right? There's 2D, uh, also known as like three uh, DOF. That's three, three degrees of freedom. That's kind of like, a, imagine uh, you've got your camera, you know, you've got a canvas in front of you, um, and then you can sort of like, you know, paint onto that canvas and like uh, project your, the position of your, of, your, uh, of your finger on the touch screen onto a, a texture and change the pixels of that texture, right? And we got a lot of options because we can do like a, you know, a regular traditional uh, rectangular uh, canvas, but we can also do a sphere. And it's, the, it's a sphere that's gonna be very interesting because what that means is it kind of like imagine like a 360 video, but instead of just watching something, you're painting onto it, you know, you could paint some ground down here or then, you know, you could paint some sky over there and like you're kind of inside the painting, you know, so, so that's going to be a really fun thing to work with. Um, the other thing I wanted to look at was 3D, uh, otherwise known as in, in the case of augmented reality, we're really talking about six DOF, six degrees of freedom, which means I'm going to paint something, right? And then I'm going to be able to walk around it and like uh, say, for example, if I want to create like a car, you know, I, I can draw the wheels here on this side, walk around it, draw the wheels here on that side, that sort of thing. And it's going to be um, very intuitive. I, there's something I just really wanted to mention uh, with, with 3D painting. Um, it, takes, it takes something, something uh, that, we, that we're not ne necessarily born with when we're drawing, like say for example, on a, on a piece of paper, you want to draw a 3D object, you've kind of got to project it onto 2D, like imagine where it would be. And that's a skill that, that I mean, I know, I know that I don't have. If I try to, maybe I could draw like a cube, right? But anything more advanced than that, it starts to get a bit, a bit weird. Um, trying to imagine, oh, where would this go? Where would that go? That sort of thing. Um, if we're drawing in 3D, the game changes completely. Because it means, oh, I draw the wheel here because the wheel is here. I draw the wheel there because the wheel is there. You know, it's like, it all makes sense. And if you've never done it before, as soon as you give it a go, it's like, oh, wow, I do know how to draw. And I can come up with interesting things. It's just in 3D, it's so much easier to draw 3D things. So that's going to be a really good one for us to look at. Um, I'm just going to write down here, we're going to be working with meshes. And of course, they're made up of uh, vertices. Oh, that's not really coming out. Vertices. Anyway, vertices and triangles, um, which we're going to be uh, creating on the fly as we go, um, which means, you know, like you start creating a mesh here and then you like add to the mesh as you go. And then sort of like, a, it's like a, call a procedural mesh. Uh, with 2D, we're going to work with, um, work with pixels and they are going to be on textures. Um, I wouldn't say you have to have worked with like textures and pixels before. Like I'm going to go through it also. Like you know, we'll we'll go really from from a fresh scene. Imagine that you don't much. Um, I'll, I'll do a bit of theory on it as well. Like what we're working with, uh, how that's all going to come together, and the same with 3D. I'm like, of course, it'll help if you've worked with this sort of stuff before. Um, but we'll we'll try to make it as simple as possible as we as we as we create it. Okay. 
On to the 2D.